In this example, we're going to solve and graph this absolute value inequality. So the first thing we need to do is to isolate this absolute value inequality expression. So this absolute value of m needs to be by itself. Right now it's being multiplied by negative 5 on this left side. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides of this inequality by negative 5. When I do that, I see that my absolute value is indeed isolated all by itself on this left side. But I also notice I've divided by a negative, and when I multiply or divide an inequality by a negative, I need to flip the sign of that inequality around. Now, negative 30 divided by negative 5 is 6. So now I have it, the absolute value of m is less than 6. So I can break this up into two separate inequalities to get rid of the absolute value. And I can say m is less than 6, or I can say m, and then when I do the negative side, I have to flip the sign of the inequality. So m is greater than negative 6. So if I were to graph this, which I need to do anyway, I have some numbers, negative 6 and positive 6. We could put 0 there in the middle for good measure. So they're both going to be open circles. And it looks like m is less than 6. So from this 6, we're going this way. And m is greater than negative 6. So from here, we're going this way. Well, we have this region of overlap right there, and that's actually going to be the solution to my inequality. So let's graph just that overlapped region. Right here, we have open circles at negative 6 and positive 6, and a line going to go ahead and connect those two. So we're saying that every real number between negative 6 and 6, but of course not including those endpoints, all these numbers will be a solution to our original absolute value inequality. But how can we write that numerically? So I have these two absolute value expressions. They are m is less than 6 and m is greater than negative 6. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I want to look at this one in particular. I'm going to go ahead and flip them around, so it's going to be negative 6 is less than m, and I can go ahead and just switch everything around just like that, and that's okay. And now I want to put this one right next to the other one. So it looks like negative 6 is less than m, m is less than 6. So instead of having two separate inequalities, what I can do is combine them together to have a trichotomy where it says negative 6 is less than m is less than 6. And again, here's what that graph is going to look like. And this is the solution to our original absolute value inequality.